In Isaiah 58, verse 11, our Bible says, And God will guide you continuously and satisfy your desire with good things. When you pray, it is very, very important that you do so with an open mind. Be surprised how many people don't. They pray with a closed mind. That something has to fit in the concept of what they believe things are. And if it doesn't, if it's outside even a fraction from that concept, they're blind to it. And sometimes the best blessings are things that in the beginning we're blind to. We have to have an open mind. We have to have a receptive heart. It is not necessary for us to tell God what ought to happen. That's usually what we do. We say, okay, God, this is the way I want it. And I want it this way and no other way. And I want it right here. You know, so often people pray for a job within the geographical area of a half mile from their home. <laughs> well, sometimes the best jobs are further away. And uh, you, you've got to keep yourself open to the possibilities of uh, jobs even out of the small realm that you've been trained in. The power of God in bringing blessings to our lives is always bigger and wider than human mind is at present. And so, what do we have to do? We have to do a human release, which is an important thing. It's another uh, term of forgiveness. Forgiveness means release. It says to forgive first in, in the Bible. Well, this is more uh, than just releasing a harm that another has done to us, it is perhaps a concept that may be harming us even if we're not aware of it. We have to let go and let God. And this means to just let go of our concepts and say uh, this or something better, God. If, if we can't, if we can't go beyond our present concept, we have to say, okay, this is what I see as being the best thing, but God, in your wisdom, I'm open to greater. And show me greater, and I'm willing to let go of my concepts and my opinions. I'm willing to release preconceived ideas about the perfect situation. Only by getting my human self out of the way. People, people say, well, what is my block? I wonder, what am, your block is always what you see standing in the mirror. It's not God. It's not God's reluctance. It's your reluctance. And my reluctance. Oh, boy, have I been reluctant so many times. And we have to get out of the way. And it's only when we get out of the way that we hear the spiritual voice within us. We trust God to know what is best for us. And we let God work wonders in our lives. God loves us and wills only good for us. And when we let go of the human concepts and let God, we make the choice to accept new possibilities, greater possibilities, that are continuously offered to us if we can see them, if we can accept them. And with God's help, we learn to recognize our good and to welcome that good into our lives.